Carlene, tomorrow is the final day of 2020. <laughs> yes. What can we expect? Oh, much of the same. The plus side is the sunshine is going to stick around. Good. So, Marcella, the forecast is looking pretty good as we go into 2020 or wrap up 2020 going into 2021. But as for today, we actually hit some seasonal highs. We are right on the money for Ramona, the same for Borrego Springs, one degree above seasonal for downtown at 66 degrees. Taking a look at those overnight lows. So the last morning of 2020 is going to be a chilly one. Taking a look at those temps, 29 degrees. That will be the overnight low for Ramona as well as that freezing mark that we're seeing for the mountains, even for the desert, even some 40s closer towards the coast. So definitely chilly out there. And on top of that, we have an onshore flow, so patchy frost cannot be ruled out for the inland valleys. 35 degrees will start off the morning for Escondido, 36 for Oceanside, 48 for downtown. Now high pressure has moved in right behind a recent storm system, and we have yet another storm system that is set to move in, and that's going to sweep towards the north of us. That's why we're going to have onshore flow picking up. And so for tomorrow, our daytime highs, we're going to knock about 5 to 10 10 degrees off of them. So being below seasonal by that much. But what we won't see is any shower activity with that next storm system. So it's going to be relatively dry. And it's going to be uh, dry for us because we'll get the tail end of it. But a lot of that moisture is going to impact the Pacific Northwest. That's why we have watches and warnings that have been issued. Higher elevations could see a foot of snow. Some of the lower elevations, they could see about four inches. We're also still seeing that massive storm system that moved through for us, now making its mark from Texas all the way towards Pennsylvania. You're seeing a line of showers, heavy rain, and even some snow. And so that has prompted some more winter weather advisories. For us tomorrow with those highs, they're going to knock down just by a few degrees. As I mentioned, about 5 to 10 degrees below seasonal. A lot of 60s west of the mountains, as well as 59 degrees for Ramona for the last day of 2020. Also 54 degrees for Campo, 64 degrees for Borrego Springs. Taking a look at your surf forecast for tomorrow, we'll have a west swell waves up to about four feet, moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. Also, our next tide change will be that overnight tide and that will be uh, the low tide. So as we go into tomorrow, also keep in mind that we will have our sunrise, the last one of 2020, can't say that enough, and that will be at 651 in the morning. Your eight day microclimate forecast has near seasonal highs returning to our forecast as we go into Friday. We're also going to warm up just a little bit more with Friday's forecast and then talking about pretty quiet weekend. We are looking at a chance for showers that will be on Tuesday starting as early as Monday night and then drying out by Wednesday repeat performance and that will be on Thursday. Most of this moisture is going to get hung up on the mountains and towards the west. Desert's going to be left out of this one, but we are looking at daytime highs that will mainly be in the 60s, a couple 70s for next week.